All right, chat, today we got an interesting video investigating the galaxy gas epidemic. Someone pulled up to my chat one time, bro, and was like, yo, I will sell you galaxy gas right now. I said, bro, you're banned. I don't understand what this is about. I don't understand why this is new. I don't understand why people want to actually take this stuff. It literally kills your brain cells and uh, it's not cool, bro. Anyways, this is by Voidzilla. Let's see what he got going on, my boy. Welcome back. Today, we're breaking down Galaxy Gas. Who's behind it? Is it bad? Is it really just for food? And am I in my old man arc? Because today, we're complaining about a TikTok trend. Okay? No, bro. A dangerous trend. Uh, no, the answer is no. I'm very cool. Still very hip. Still very with it. Okay. But I my did want to talk about man. nitrous oxide today, a.k.a. laughing gas, a.k.a. whippets, a.k.a nitrous oxide brother that sounds like it shouldn't even be in my body and then i saw another video of this guy bought the galaxy gas right and then he hooked a uh, tube to it and then let it into his engine he had like actual nitrous like nos like his car went faster i'm like why would you why would you put that in your body bro what the hell aka whippets aka doing a kanye uh look it's kind of an old thing and that's kind of become a new thing because We've Americanized this small little canister that used to, you know, you used to get this little cartridge thing and uh -oh. people would inhale it and get high Babe, um, or get it at the dentist sometimes. Oh, what? Now we've turned it into a flavored, <laughs> a flavored giant canister that kids are walking around school and doing in their classroom. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh -huh. God damn, what the f***? <laughs> oh, oh. Now, it's not just the youth that are on this. It's also mainstream celebrities like uh, Kanye West was recently exposed for being addicted to nitrous oxide. I say exposed, but he also posted this video. Ryan Garcia, this yay, I'm on the nitrous. So, I don't know how much you can expose somebody who's just posting that. Uh, but the rappers everywhere are sort of also uh getting into this in fact adam 22 who does a podcast kind of covering um some of this stuff recently well released a video four years ago talking about this drug is taking over the rap game even back then it was becoming more popular here's kind of what he said about it now it all seems like fun and games at first right like laughing gas can't be so bad but in the long term is when you really start to see the nasty side effects kick in funny enough if you fast forward four years to yo bro, today, bro let me tell uh, you something why would you bring this with you to places? Look how like corny this looks. If you are in front of me with this literal nitrous bottle, bro, that belongs in a damn car that I've seen from the Fast and Furious in your hand, bro. Imagine somebody pulls this out their backpack. I'm gonna be like, yo, bro, what are you? <laughs> Whole can of, of NOS, bro. Like, yo, you need to reevaluate your life, man. There's just no way. Uh, he was on his podcast recently and did whippets on his own podcast, uh, which I thought was weird for someone who's like, yeah, this is this is bad. It's going to ruin your brain. All right, let's go. <laughs> you better blow my ass so bad, Michael. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> All right, now you add a 22 now. Yeah, I overdid it. I did it too fast. What the? <laughs> you had him. <laughs> How the f Am I letting him do it? <laughs> you had him. But it's not just the kids and rappers. Even Joe Rogan's podcast has seen some of this stuff. Ari Shafir, a comedian, recently did Whippets live on the show. What is that? You spazzed, don't you? What do you got, Whippets? Yeah. Oh, no. you sick. You whippets? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Let's go. This might not be is this Florida, legal? No. Yeah, it's like you get him in headshots. <laughs> no. No? You're going to forget how to play pool. Okay, do whippets kill brain cells? Oh, okay, yes, so they do. He's taking whippets while... Yo, you ever creating. thought about, like, how and why did people find this stuff out? Because, right, whippets, right? Wasn't just, It was literally to make whipped cream. Then there were people smelling paint. Bro, do you know how sick you got to be to get high off of paint? And then, uh, what's the other one? Glue or uh, spray paint? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Like, bro... This is not for that reason. Like, you're actually addicted and you need help. Yeah, yeah, high off of Sharpies, bruh. Okay, so then he's taking whippets while Joe Rogan's reading. Do they kill brain cells? Yes or no? <laughs> Answer actually is a yes. Uh, but if you heard in the background, they kind of say, is this legal? And then somebody's like, no. And somebody else says, 
Well, no, they just sell them in like head shops everywhere. And that's part of the problem is that while nitrous oxide is supposed to be just for, you know, um, dental, like, like, as excuse me on a thousand ways to die. This dude died from overdosing on inhaling the fermented fumes of his own dookie. Nah, bro. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, bro. No, no, no. I don't know if he went to hell or heaven. I don't know. But whoever was at the gates of either place, I would have laughed at you, bro. You died by smelling dookie, bro. Like, that's crazy. Dental, like, like as a drug, to supposed to be just for... That's part of the problem is that while nitrous oxide is supposed to be just for, you know, um, dental... <laughs> Sniffing like, toes, like that's as a me. drug to be consumed <laughs> by people is supposed to be um, controlled. At the same time, there's also this kind of loophole where it technically can be sold for culinary purposes, where it's sold for like whipped cream, because to use a whipped cream canister, you need a little bit of nitrous yeah. in order to make it like fluffy. But the it's not going to make you high because you're not actually ingesting the stuff. So the loophole that has been figured out by these companies is that you can sell these canisters as chargers for whipped cream. Oh, yeah. And this brings us to Galaxy Gas. This yeah. is currently the most popular way to abuse nitrous oxide. And if you go to their website, they say that it's intended solely as a food processing propellant. Yeah, that's how they market it. Yeah. And culinary use only. And you say yes. And then and they have it. recipes for. That's it, Chad. That's what's holding the website back from you. That's it. It's like, hey, before you click uh, confirm or whatever, just know that this is for culinary uh, use. Or how that's to it. use their product. And then you can see all their different stuff here. However, this is just a cover story. And part of the reason I'm doing this is it pissed me off the way people credulously cover this stuff where they go, people are misusing Galaxy Gats. It's actually intended as a food product. So it's supposed to take your desserts to the next level, but using it the wrong way is leaving people high. It's not it's a not food product. The creators <laughs> know it's not a food yeah. product. This is just how they get around the law. Right? Teens are getting a hold of Galaxy Gas and similar products following a dangerous trend on, of course, all places, social media. And while it has many legitimate uses, it also creates a brief but potentially deadly high. The way you cover loopholes like this isn't going like, oh, it's being, you know, it was intended for this, but it's being misused. No, it was always intended to be abused. So I saw this, this is kind of, this video is kind of the reason I'm covering all of this. Bro, uh, the guy who invented Galaxy Gas, he's even built like he doesn't cook, bro. He has never been in the kitchen in his life talking about culinary and, and, and food products. Buddy, you know what you were doing. Uh, this video says the guy who invented Galaxy Gas, and it says he has no idea at the bottom as if he thought this was going, and then, by the way, this is not the creator of Galaxy Gas. Oh, but uh, this never video mind. was created, and it's an old commercial that got saved, and it's of them talking about the food, like the food aspect of all of this. And people believe, like, just believe this stuff. Galaxy Gas, well, you probably already know. But really, we're the best thing that's ever happened to your kitchen. Because Galaxy Gas is the purest culinary nitrous in the galaxy. Why start your morning off with that boring cured coffee when you can just as easily whip yourself up a nitro cola? We got eight amazing flavors for you to chef up whatever your heart desires. So if the bad acting wasn't sort of already a dead giveaway, there's uh, even more proof that this is just a silly cover-up now albeit they're going through with the bit because they create little recipes even if you go to their hey, website they gotta hide they have, it somehow like all their youtube videos are them like creating little uh, uh little recipes with their thing like so so they're really committing to the idea that oh we really believe this is everyone's using this to chef stuff up but there's an easy way you know this is not true and that's because if you were to actually use these canisters for their intended purpose of whipped cream uh it's way too much like you only need a tiny amount of nitrous yeah. to fill an entire whipped cream can and yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, that's this true. report at fox 8 local did a good job of breaking this down of whipped cream per container now a can like this typically takes about six and a half grams of nitrous oxide yeah hey compare that to this tank <laughs> with two thousand brother <laughs> Brother, if if whipped cream and all these other culinary things need literally, yeah, a very small dosage, there is no need for this big ass NOS can, bro. And a half grams of dinner. Now a can like this typically takes about 
six and a half grams of nitrous oxide. Six and a half grams. Compare that to this tank with 2,000 grams of nitrous oxide. If you portion things out similarly, you can make approximately 22,792 servings of whipped cream with that strawberry watermelon nitrous alone. It's preposterous once you actually learn oh. how much whipped cream this stuff could make <laughs> uh, to think that anyone in their right mind would be using it for this. And obviously, the it don't need to be that big, bro. Who are portioning it out know that fact. The reason they're selling something that could make 22,000 servings of uh, whipped cream, which no normal person needs, is because no, they know nobody's using it actually for uh, culinary purposes. Yeah. The other thing is a lot of these products are not sold by a culinary place. It's sold by like vape shops. In fact, if you remember the guy who supposedly created Galaxy Gas, I'll show you them again. That's the buddy. And this is uh, the other guy. This guy who did not invent it, but supposedly invented it. Turns out you can find him as the promoter of something called Cloud9 Smoke oh, Co. Oh, mm -hmm. where he is. Uh, hey, don't worry, man. They have a kitchen in the back, right? Cloud9 Smoke and Vape. They've just forgot to add, you know, bar and kitchen at the bottom of their, uh, you know, logo or whatever. Yeah, bro, don't worry about it. They have a kitchen right there. You know, they just show you how to make food. Totally not sus at all. Making promotional videos for a vape shop the vape in my pocket is the grello bar in the red apple frozen flavor it tastes amazing and of course this bar has the juice indicator so uh, obviously oh, this is so cringe chad i actually used to vape too bro and i used to go to the vape stores as well bro and order iced watermelon juice bro i need y'all to unsubscribe bro. ow 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 bro i just closed my boom arm on my on my finger anyways Iced watermelon juice, bro. Iced kiwi strawberry. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, unsubscribe right now. Unfollow, bro. Just. <laughs> it tastes amazing. Yo. And of course, this bar. I'm so fruity, chat. So obviously, this guy is not moonlighting as a chef. This is just a cover story to sell uh, an illegal high. And otherwise. Ah, oh, damn. Now, I want to be clear. I don't believe that's the guy behind all of this. People have been wondering for a while, who is behind Galaxy Gas? Who are these guys? Because nowadays, first of all, nobody's really in front of the product anymore. They shoot uh, most of their videos from the head up and they cover their sleeves. It looks like the guy though, so no? It's hard to know. It's clear that they're trying to kind of cover their tracks. But we have a hint from an old magazine that they forgot to scrub off the internet. This is a feature in a vape shop magazine. It says hitting new highs financially. Here you can see the first mention of the founders, what I believe to be the founders. It says there are brothers, Amor, Sammy, Ben, and Kareem. They run something called SBK International, and they're the owners of Cloud9 in Georgia. Oh, so the company that's that, that you guy guys. Was promoting, they own it. Sam, Ben, and Kareem Amor. We know this is true because if you go to the state of Georgia, you can find that the guy on file for Galaxy Gas LLC is Khalil Amor. And the same guy is CEO of uh, SBK International with the same last name as those brothers. Damn. Again, we can also find in a uh, complaint against Cloud9 and SBK, we also see Khalil Amor, Ben Salim Amor, and Sammy Amor. Yo, this man named. found so everything. I think these are the guys behind it. They don't want to be on the front of their um, culinary nitrous organization for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons, but yep. they are seemingly the guys behind it. At least they're registered as the guys <laughs> behind it, especially Khalil Amor. Of course, it's now, Atlanta, um, but It's also worth saying <laughs> that because this has gotten so popular and so many people are doing it in schools, as well as just culturally, it's kind of Nitrous is having another moment because of these supersized canisters of Nitrous. Uh, it is also being looked at by regulators very closely, and I think probably will get shut down. Or I think so too, yeah kind of watched in fact galaxy gas a lot of people haven't seen this recently terminated oh uh, their georgia entity oh so never in mind just a few days ago a couple weeks ago 
they terminated uh, their company under Georgia law. Additionally, you used to be able to buy their products on Amazon. Crazy enough. Who, what the, who is buying six cans of this stuff? Now they're unavailable. So are they going under? Are they trying to hide? It's unknown. But what's clear is that all eyes are on these I guys. I wonder how much and, it costs too. Um, they're definitely being watched. Now, do I think that's going to be the end of this epidemic? No, because there are so many copycat products and similar people trying to make money on a similar yeah. idea. But I want to be clear, all of them use the same stupid loophole of like, ooh, we're just we're just wanting to sell whipped cream flavored chargers. Twenty two thousand you know of it, by the way. Because of the size of the thing that they sell and where they sell these things. In fact, while looking at this video, even though Galaxy Gas is unavailable, <sighs> you can get a similar size tank uh, for nitrous oxide. You can get 24 of them, which would do about half a million servings of whipped cream. Oh my directly God. Directly from Amazon. You can get it shipped to your door, free delivery. So, chat, who is buying this? Blue Berry, 640 grams, ultra pure whipped cream charger 24 nitrous oxide tanks bro if i put this on my honda accord bro strap it to the back run tube straight into my damn my damn engine oh god i'm gonna have like a thousand horsepower bro yo if anybody wants to race me let me know bro i'm putting this in my car and look i don't know if y'all can see this but yeah 64 dollars bro i'm about to ooh, what y'all got chat hellcats so easy lambos so easy don't care, bro. I'm about to run this shit out my car, bro. I'm winning every race. I'm about to turn $64 into like 30 bands winning races, bro. Come on. Come yeah. on now. Directly from Amazon. You can get it shipped to your door. Oh, Bugatti? Nah, never mind. So, um, <laughs> anytime you see this stuff, please do not report like, oh, people are misusing it for the purpose. No, it was always intended yeah. to be misused. It was always intended. It was always intended, especially if it's a literal vape and smoke shop selling it. They know what they're doing. As a way to get people high, it was just a loophole that these scumbags were doing to make money from you losing brain cells yeah. or people you love losing brain cells. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to cover that. I, I just thought I've seen a lot of people report on this, and everybody seems to be smoke screened by this food intention uh and i just wanted to be clear about like who's behind this stuff what's actually going on and um where i think it's going which is like it's probably hit its cultural moment and i think probably regulators are gonna yeah down. no no don't regulate so, it that needs to anyway, go that's basically it thanks for watching this galaxy gas review <laughs> Bye. From Jason Ga PDA. Galaxy Gas Review. Okay, buddy. Yeah, interesting, interesting video. Chat, do not go out there and buy yourself Galaxy Gas unless you want to win some races. You know what I'm saying? Strap it to the back of your car, run a little tube, bow, and uh, chilling. Now you got free NOS. So easy. Why you got to hate on my nitro cold brew coffee? Wait, you know what I should do? You know how they do mukbangs, right? Instead, I buy all 24 uh, canisters. <laughs> And then I try out each flavor. What y'all think? W idea or L idea? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yo. My little blueberry uh, galaxy gas. W idea, but you might die. All right. My fault.